What's going on everybody? Robin here with Aries, Aries Fire Tarot. Welcome to the channel. So guys, this is going to be a daily tarot card reading and it's going to be for Friday, June 26th. So I do use it a weekend spread to do this reading for you. And I feel like I need a fresh one. I have two that I go back and forth, but they're boring me a little bit. So if you guys have a link to any sort of tarot card readings that you want me to read, go ahead and shoot them to me, like put it in the comments or send me an email. My email address is in the description box. But anyway, Gilded Tarot, I'm gonna do this weekend spread for you guys that I hope it resonates. And once again, thanks for being here on the channel and all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna launch right in because that's my style. So let's see how can I enjoy my weekend. And this is for whenever your weekend is. Not everybody gets a Saturday, Sunday. All right, so how can I enjoy my weekend? Page of Swords. I'm getting things like don't fight it. Um, Hmm. something going on here you guys the page of swords has got some sort of message for you and I feel like you're going to sort of bristle up against it but instead you can take that poise and stand back and like weapons down very very bizarre energy I'm getting from this definitely going to be I feel like there's going to be an antagonist in your I'm getting realm reality you you're gonna have to be prepared for that so and you don't want them to ruin your weekend right you don't want them to ruin your day when they come in like guns blazing and you're like oh god here they here they come again you know some people they're just never happy with the responses you give them so maybe it's just you need to stop responding to people put your phone on silent you can silence people too. Um, you know, if they're text messaging, text messaging you, you can mute them on social media if they're DMing you or whatever. Really seeing it's time here to put a little bit of a bubble between you and somebody else because they're persistently wanting a response for, from you. And I do believe that you've already responded according to how, the, how you want to, but they're just not taking the hint. So what will challenge you? Yeah, mm-hmm. Judgment card. Somebody is really blaring in there. You know, they really want to be heard. They have some sort of judgmental comment to say about you. And this can just happen, you know. People get their channels crossed all the time. Their feathers ruffled, however you want to put it. There is some sort of message coming in here, a judgment. And I do believe it's coming in to you. You know, maybe you took off from work early or I don't know. You did something wrong in somebody else's book of life. And, and they're coming to get you, you know. So really, you don't want that to wreck your weekend. Especially if it's a coworker that is reaching out to you and it's your day off. That's super uncool, you know, or people phoning you or whatever. So put your phone on mute if you can. So how can you care for yourself? Two of Pentacles. This is a great energy because it means that you're focusing on things that matter to you, not matter to somebody else. Like the Two of Pentacles, this is totally about your abundance and what is, what is abundance other than health, wealth, all that blah, 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 all that good stuff. So you're really focusing on taking care of you and not worrying about what somebody at the office had to say or wherever, somebody from your family. I'm really just seeing some sort of fracas, fracas, tempest in a teacup. Somebody really snarky with something to say and they've already said it. So I'm going to pull a couple more cards here because we just need to make people like this go away. Like I have zero patience for people that once you've already told them to, uh, yeah, I heard you. Thanks so much. You know, please be gone. And then they come back again and you're like, for real? So let's see here. We've got the page of wands. So there is definitely something better for you guys to do. Page of wands, like totally looking in on yourself. Listen to the messages related to your own well-being instead of what somebody else thinks you should be doing. 
And I do believe that sometimes it feels like to you they could be right. Oh, maybe they've got a point. But maybe they don't. Huh. This person could be quite convincing. Be careful. That's why you should silence them. So, yeah, I'm going out of town. I have a migraine. Get rid of them. Queen of Pentacles. Really being encouraged here to just focus on yourself. Whatever is going on. You know, if somebody asked you to work overtime and you said no, you said no. Um, you know, whatever it is that you've said no to or given your opinion on already. I'm seeing here you really just need to stand strong on your own benefit because you need your downtime. You really need this time off and you need not to be nagged into oblivion while you're trying to enjoy yourself. Fascinating cards. Very fascinating. Look how these two pages. Oops, wrong way. They're sort of facing each other off, right? So you're getting a lot of mixed messages from this person. I really see that they're coming in sort of being vulnerable and then they're turning into like a real pain, like really bristly. You got to put some space in between you and this person. Otherwise, they're going to wreck your weekend. And honestly, it, I don't really I'm seeing here. It doesn't matter who that person is for you anyway. So, guys, I, I, this is a really bizarre one, but if somebody's giving you a hard time, just sort of block them out until you're in the mind or getting paid to deal with them. So, yeah. All right. Okay. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye.